Welcome to WhatsApp tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how you can send WhatsApp template message through WhatsApp platform. So let me first refresh your memory on what is message template. WhatsApp message template are pre-approved message formats that businesses use to send out notifications or customer care messages to people that have opted in to notifications. Messages can include appointment reminders shipping information, issue resolution, or payment updates. All message template must be pre-approved by WhatsApp. To understand how you can pre-approve a message in WhatsApp platform, it can actually be done in channels. However, you can watch a separate video which we will talk more in details on how you can do it. First, I'm going to teach you how you can send push with our push panel. So our push panel allows you an easy way to send WhatsApp template message. If you are a developer, you can also choose send response API to send it programmatically. To use push panel, first you need to set up audience. So I'm setting up testing audience and then I need to select the channel. Then I need to select whether I want to send to a few members only or a group of members. By sending to a group of members, you are actually sending to all the members under this channel. So now, for example, I'm just going to select a few members and select a specific member to send out. And I'm going to click save to save the member and the audience. Secondly, I'm going to create push. Push is actually setting up the actual message to be sent out and when you want to send it out. So let's say this is testing push 2 and then include the audience testing audience. Schedule the start time. If you select the date today, then you send out immediately. Otherwise, you can also schedule at a later date or choose a specific time here. Then I'm going to set up the message. So the actual message here, I'm going to choose WhatsApp message template as the type. And then here, I'm going to choose the WABA account. And under the WABA account, I'm going to choose reservation confirmation link. <coughs> and actually, this message is actually the reservation message, where you have name, date, time, and number of people. For the name, I will type this one, and then, for example, November, time is 7 o'clock, and number of people variable 4 is 2. As you can see here, the button is URL button. URL button cannot be changed when you want to send it, because it is already pre-approved, and WhatsApp has already reviewed your link. So now I'm just going to click confirm, double check everything is in order, audience, schedule start time and the messages and then click save and send after you click save and send you will see it is working out now and we will come back and check again later now you can see that the message has been sent out with the name date time and number of people that i filled in and you can see the link button when I click on change booking and it will say the link is taking me to a website and then now I open the website and I'm going back. The second part of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a second type of push template message. And I'm setting up this template message, including the audience, scheduling the start time. And then here I'm choosing the WhatsApp template message, select integration, and message template is a bit different. This time we are doing refund message template with buttons. So what we are doing differently is that instead of opening a link, this time when we click on a button, we want to trigger a chatbot message to reply you. So let's say the variable is like USD 1000. And then here on buttons, you can see quick reply and it is not the URL. This quick reply has a title of virtual assistant as, 
uh, as the button title. So for payload, payload refers to uh, refers to the value behind a button. So this value can be self-defined. This is just to make your button unique and when you click on this button, the chatbot will know which kind of message or corresponding message to be sent out and reply you. So now I've confirmed the setup and I'm going to click save and send. As you can see here, there is the push result which is working hard now and I'm going to come back and check again later. Now you can see that I have received the template message. Your payment USD100 has been refunded. And below there is a button called Virtual Assistant. My expectation is when I click on this Virtual Assistant button, the chatbot will reply. But we haven't set up the chatbot yet. So we are going to back to the bots builder and then we are setting up the chatbot in a tree. I've previously already created this chatbot message. Hi there, this is your virtual assistant. How may I help you? This message is will be replied when user click the virtual assistant button. But we are missing a very important ingredient, which is the global node. Global node is actually a node that is a doorway that acts as a doorway to trigger the chatbot. And here, I need to set up two things. One is trigger, second is di redirect. For trigger, it means that in what condition will this global node be triggered and reply with a chatbot message. So this is the very easy question because previously in the push panel, we have already set up that for the virtual assistant button, the payload value is virtual in capitalized letters. So we just need to match it so that the chatbot will know uh, which message to send out. So we have set up the condition. The condition is when user click virtual assistant, a chatbot message will be replied. Now I'm going to click save. And then below, I'm going to redirect and then toggle on and select the message that I want to send, which is virtual assistant greetings. Double confirm here, virtual assistant greetings is this message. And then the second part is going to channels because right now your channel has zero chatbots. Now I'm going to channels under tree settings and I'm going to add a tree which is virtual assistant and select the global node. This is very important to activate your doorway and then I click save. Now when I type and click Virtual Assistant, a chatbot message will be replied. Thank you for joining in this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Thank you and have a nice day.